how do we maintain a good work-life balance? Now, that's an important question in, in, in the scenario we are facing nowadays with a lot of people finding that either their focus is too much on their families and their other personal things or too much on work and it's very difficult to kind of find a balance between the two. So what is Vedanta's view on it? Uh, to achieve a work-life balance, it seems that the single most important thing that would be required is a strong intellect. The better a thinker we are, the better thinking we can do, the more we can achieve in lesser time. When, there is, when our intellect is not strong, the mind wastes time, frankly. It wastes time either because it is just running around futilely, doing this treadmill thinking, running, 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 or it is just doing the same job with, with no thinking. And so the job is actually taking much more time than it really should take because there is no application of how to do this job well in a shorter period of time. So when we don't apply our intellects to our work or to any, anything we are doing, we seem to take up a lot more time doing the same job. And when we take up a lot more time doing that job, then obviously something else has to suffer. So we must be able to apply our intellects and know how much time I'm spending in, in, each, in whatever areas I'm looking into. What are the various things I'm doing in each of those areas and how much time I should be giving to them and work out a system, work out a method, how you can get that much work done in that much time. Say, no, there's no way I could do my work in lesser time. That's usually because we haven't applied ourselves. If we apply ourselves, we would find that we could take far less time in doing the same amount of work. Now, you may say, give me an example. How is that possible? Well, one simple example is this, that we go to work and we sit at our desk and then the mind starts wondering about something or the other. I start thinking about a meeting I have this afternoon and then my thought goes to this person who's going to come to the meeting and how this person disrupts the meeting and then how must he be at home, he's so terrible at office and I wasted a good 20 minutes thinking of all sorts of useless things. Why? My intellect was not strong enough to hold my mind. So the, what is really happening, why our work-life balance is probably going, is because our intellect is not strong enough. It's not strong enough to do two things. One is prevent the mind from dissipating its energies in unproductive channels. And two, come up with better ways of doing things. We can usually get the same result with a bet, in a better manner, in a quicker manner, if we only apply ourselves to it. But if we just go on mechanically rushing here and there, then we find that time is never enough. And it won't be, because what work your body can do, your intellect can do a lot more work. For instance, a human being can walk and go to a particular destination, but the moment his intellect could conceive a wheel, he could go much faster. So that's what we need to build within ourselves, a stronger, better intellect that will enable us to do our work quickly and thereby give us plenty of time to look into every other aspect of life.